So if you have one of these, one of these sharks, or uh, any any vacuum that have this problem, you see this here? It's a rip, it's a tear, and it happens often, especially with the the units with the coil, with that with that coil on it. Uh, you have the plastic uh, uh, hose and the metal coils, eventually they're gonna break. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to switch it out. Now they don't really sell these parts. You may have to go on you know, eBay or someplace like that to find it. But I had a hose that I believe, this is kind of a junk hose that I, was, I'm, I'm, you know, that I have, and I believe that this should fit. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out and I will explore today. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's remove the cover. And um, now you're gonna need a uh, torque screw. Now, some of the sharks do use Phillips screwdrivers, but just let's get all the screws out so you can just remove the cover. All right, so now we're gonna remove the, uh, the internal hose, and what we wanna do is just kinda cut Cut the hose, remove some of the damaged wire, and to be safe, let's not remove all of it yet. Okay, let's not unwind it yet. We wanna make sure that the hose that we have do fit perfectly, and if not, um, then we are. If you made it this far, you are definitely part of the team. Okay, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a little click. It um, doesn't cost anything, just subscribe. It helps us, it helps uh, the other content creators out here. We appreciate your help. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, so if the hose doesn't fit, uh, we can just kind of screw the smaller hose into the bigger opening, like here. See that? So now we just have to just, just kind of just wind it into the other holes that's inside of the neck assembly and we should be okay that's it now just re just reinsert everything the way it is uh, you have tabs there to show you where to put it just kind of fasten it in there and you should be good to go all right let's put the cover back on and we should be okay now some of the holes you may find will fit perfectly so this is just, like I said, it's just a little hack to try to repair that rather than get stuck with a machine that you can't use because all the suction is escaping, you know what I mean? Okay, so hopefully uh, you guys were able to get something out of this video and then we'll, we'll chat again later. All right.